And there's nothing quite like discovering your passion and connecting it with your soul and realizing this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And I know that uh, Upchurch has realized that. Re Upchurch knows this is what he was meant to do. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of React Attack. I am Ords, and we are taking a look at Ryan Upchurch, my boy Upchurch's latest drop. Shout out to him. Now, before we dive into this uh, song and this reaction, I do have to tell you guys, this is one that he's, like, sampled out, I think. Um, and I know I've definitely heard this, and this song is kind of special to me uh, for a specific reason. Uh, when he was doing his tour down and when he was in Moline, my daughter and I got to go down and hang out with him backstage, and this is where he actually showed me this song. Uh, before he even released it. So it was really kind of cool that we had that moment. Uh, and then um, when we went to the Milwaukee show up at the Rave, uh, it was kind of cool because we got to watch him perform this in that pool down in, in the Rave in the bottom, or like underneath uh, that venue in Milwaukee. If you guys haven't checked that out, go check out Ryan's story. I think it's still up there. There's some videos up there that talk about the, the pool with Mac Miller's signature in it and stuff. But that's besides the point. This, this song is just kind of special to me uh, because of how I've got to hear it and with my, my daughter being with me and everything. So... Uh, when we got to uh, first hear the song. So anyway, guys, I've been very excited. And shout out to Kalani on the beat who told me to come check out. Uh, this is YouTube music. Now it's not on his uh, YouTube page. I think this is one of the ones he says iTunes and I think Amazon music. Those are all, uh, he says those are better versions of the song. I'm guessing a better quality of the version. So I'm assuming it's probably very close to the same thing here on YouTube music, not on the YouTube page or his channel. So we're going to react to it. This is Honeysuckles and Rain. I know this is one that he's performed. Uh, throughout his entire tour um or maybe not his entire tour but definitely uh towards the end of the tour um and it's really cool to have like heard this song uh backstage for the first time so anyway all, let's get into it guys this is ryan up church my boy doing honeysuckles and rain the acoustic version so let's go Lily I like that. Dancing on a new Hold on, I say, say Lily Petals. Isn't that what his daughter's name is? Lily. On a new Gray stroke clouds and a rumbling sound in the distance, a thunderstorm. Oh, yeah, there you go. The trees all swinging because they just can't wait for the light show coming just to spring to the stage. They sing in every lyric while the limbs all shake. Man, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I love this, dude. He's setting up the scene, right? He's giving you a picture. The storm's rolling in, man. He's giving you the details. He wants you to be able to smell the rain as it comes in, right? He wants you to be able to smell the rain. Um, so, uh, yeah, man, I really love how he sets this up talking about how they're singing the song, you know, they're singing and, uh, the light show that's coming, man. And, and you guys remember in those moments when the storm's rolling in, you kind of smell that air as it comes in. And, and this is one thing I really love about Upchurch, this music is that he has a very, he's very good at painting a picture, not only like in lyric, but actually really good at painting pictures period, but, uh, in real life, you know, but, uh, that's just what he is, man. He's a true artist who paints right lyrically. And uh, physically. So let's go. Oh, we don't have enough people whistling in songs nowadays. Get it up, church. I ain't no poet, just a thought from a place. But if a lyric makes you feel a wish, my ink has taste. Then you would see why there's a frame in my mind still alive involving love, honey, circles, and rain. Hey, there we go. Excited for another summer, memories keep me covered. Sprinkle sugar on every frame. No need to explain, it might be down here slang, but it's like love, honey, circles, and rain. Honey circles and rain. Oh, we got drums in this mug. Oh, I have not heard this version of it that we got it kicking in. Oh my god, dude. What? Shout out to Molly Rose, one of the greatest 
not only people I've ever met in the world, but uh, one of the best drummers I've ever met in the world. So shout out to Miley Rose. Holy crap, man. Let's go. Honeysuckles and rain. Honeysuckles and rain. Love honeysuckles and rain. Love honeysuckles and rain. Hell yeah, dude. I love the usage of the instruments in this, uh, how the drums are almost just kind of carrying that guitar with that, 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 and just really filling it in quite nicely there. Carry that guitar a little bit more, you know? Give that guitar a little more levity. Baby blue eyes, baby blue skies, baby blue sea tent for the late night. Sweet talk me like a storm does the soul The roots of your passion grabbing hold of the soul There you go, man. Oh, let's go back. I want to hear that lyric again. Sweet talk me like a storm does the soul The roots of your passion grabbing hold of the soul oh, The roots of your passion grabbing hold of your soul. Man, there is nothing quite like discovering your passion and connecting it with your soul and realizing this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And I know that uh, Upchurch has realized that. Re Upchurch knows this is what he was meant to do. Uh, and so his passion then was connected with the soul, which is why he's successful, man. And uh, man, y'all, for those people out there feeling like they're stuck in a mundane drudgery or they're stuck in a, in a life that they hate, you have to go out there and change it for yourself. Like I, you know, I work full time and I work at this stuff part time after work. I don't really have time to do anything for myself other than this. And, and I, I'm okay with that because it's made me a better person. The discipline that it takes to do this stuff and, and have a full time job and be a dad and all this stuff. Like I wouldn't have it any other way because I'm living my passion. I'm living my dream, you know? Uh, and my soul feels good because of it. It's that connection, right? I love this, man. Of your passion grabbing hold of the soul. Excited for another summer memories keep me cover sprinkle sugar on I love that. I love that because like I'm I think he wrote this going into the 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 tour uh, or maybe right before or he was writing it during like the the front end of the tour, I believe. And, uh, man, so many memories were made this year, y'all, uh, with, with the, uh, tune and tour. You guys can see, I've got the, the Upchurch tune and tour, the Moline show specifically. So this, again, this song is, is really, really special to me. So I can't wait to, I think this one's going on Creek or three. I could be wrong, but, uh, man, this song speaks. Of a sprinkle sugar on every frame. No need to explain, might be the downhill slang. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like. It's like, it's like I love the double voices, man. Like I love that. Yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about, yo. Big shout out to my boy Church. This is, like I said, th this song is special to me. It's one that I've really been looking forward to. Um, it's, it's, and the, to get the acoustic version and then we're going to get like a full band version of it. Oh my gosh. I love the fact that church has been uh, doing these different versions of songs. Uh, like it, you know, all kind of goes back to maybe even before Rolling Stone, but you got Rolling Stone and then you got the second version, which is like the more country band put together version, which I think I like the original better in a sense of just cause that's what I know. But I think live that, uh, that whole full band version is sounds so good live. Um, and yeah, so it just, I think it just depends on the venues. Like this song is really good live, but it's also really good acoustic. So I think it's, it's both ends of the, the, the spectrum when it comes to the music thing. This song is just a, a well-rounded acoustic song, man. We don't get a whole lot of these nowadays. So thank you up church, uh, for doing what you do and giving us this beautiful music, man. Keep it up. Can't wait for Creaker three, bro. You know me, I'll be waiting with anticipation. 
Uh, you know, big shout out to Molly Rose kicking out the drums. Big shout out to Clowney on the beat who's just been killing these productions, man. Anyway, y'all, thank you for hanging out with me on this one, guys. Go check out my boy Ryan Upchurch. We'll catch you on the next one. Remember, everybody, stay nuclear. Peace.